is the first of what I intend to be a series on what atheism can offer compared to monotheistic religion. And if you have any suggestions for future topics, especially the theists out there, if you think you've got a real kicker, something that we atheists really don't have that you think is better, please, I welcome all suggestions, all contributions. I figured I would start with what might be a bit of a difficult one. Many monotheists will tell you that life doesn't have meaning and we and and the death is the end if you are an atheist if you do not believe in an afterlife then life has no meaning and i would counter this with i'm going to quote richard dawkins and i don't know if he made it up or if he quoted someone else life only does have meaning when there is only one life to live. Because it means that you have to make the most of it. It means that there is no saving up for what might come after you die. It means you have to enjoy and make the most of the life that you do have. And this is something that we all need to take to heart, in my opinion, if you are a monotheist watching this, what if you're wrong? What if you are holding out for an afterlife that might never happen? And just, in, just maybe there is an afterlife, but it sucks. I mean, especially if it's a Resident Evil movie, but that's beside the point. If there is no afterlife. Do you really want to have wasted your entire life? Because this might be the case. If there is an afterlife, if I do burn forever in hell, in torment, then maybe what will keep me going is the fact that I didn't waste my life. Because there might not have been an afterlife. I would also argue with Satan as I enter the gates and as he takes me to my unique room of torment, which I'm sure will have Gigli playing for one thing. I would try to argue that I was a good person. I did what I considered was right. I tried to minimize the suffering. I tried to make my decisions be the most well thought out and be the most helpful to people. Yes, I didn't accept any deity, but that's pretty much it. I didn't mistreat anyone because of any personal opinion. I didn't wage war on a group of people simply because they did something that my book told me was wrong. And then there's of course the issue of when someone else dies. I can see the comfort you might feel from believing that they are in heaven and you will one day meet them again. But what we atheists have in place of that is that we remember that person. Now, maybe monotheists do, but we make it a point to remember the people that made a difference. Got that funk recently, fairly recently, made a video to this effect and reminded me of that. Yes. We have to remember the people who meant a lot to us. And the idea that they're just somewhere else, they'll we'll meet them again, I would argue that that would make you less likely to remember them. Because if you don't think that they're actually gone, 
then why do you need to remember? I watch my television every single day. I don't pay particular attention to what it's like because it's there. If it suddenly disappeared or I got it replaced or something, I might think back to it because it wasn't there anymore and I don't expect to get it back. But when you expect that something will come again, I mean, we all have to deal with death and loss in this life. The idea that, oh, you'll get it back later on, I would say it goes against your mature, your growth as far as maturity goes. We all need to deal with that there are things that go away and we don't get them back. That's part of life. It used to be a completely accepted part of life. It's now with, you know, medical breakthroughs and increasing increasing long lives, you know, over a hundred years and, you know, but the moment that you accept that it will all go away, that's when you realize you have to appreciate it while it's there. If you think that when your nice auntie dies, she'll just go to heaven and you'll meet her again eventually, won't you be less likely to make the most of your time together? That would be my guess, at least. I welcome counter-arguments, of course. And at the end of the day, again, we just we can't be sure about an afterlife. But if we assume that there isn't one, if we go by that we just have to make the most of it and we have to remember people when they're gone, I would argue that that is far more satisfying than some uncertain promise of something to come. Would heaven also have all the toys that you had in your childhood that you since had to maybe pass on to the next generation, maybe sell, maybe toss away? How much that you've lost are you still holding on to? Are you still holding out hope for getting back at some point?